Hello guys, a warm welcome to you. Today on the menu we have an African turkey stew that's made with bell peppers, no tomatoes. Okay, we have about nearly four pounds of turkey neck here that's been washed and I've gone ahead and de-seeded my bell peppers and cut them up also the onion and the ginger is like one finger stick of ginger and also there i have my maggie powder my curry powder and of course i'm sure you're seeing about the two sprigs of thyme and we have our bouillon cube here um tomato base okay so you're gonna put that rub that in all together guys make sure everything is mixed in but first before that you're going to add your half of scotch bunny pepper feel free to add more and then i have here some chopped garlic ginger and pepper as well and i'm not adding the half of onion um, that i cut up earlier and you're gonna mix it all together like i said before mix it very well and usually this recipe does not call for marinating but guys you know that when you marinate your meat it is the best tasting when you marinate the meat so i let it marinate for about 30 minutes or so and then i went ahead and blended all my peppers including the ginger and i added a little bit more of that garlic paste now guys let's look for the consistency that you need to achieve I made an error, a blunder, and I must admit, even though you guys wouldn't have known, but I added a little bit of water, which I should not have, but I did. And because I made that mistake, I had to go ahead and put that to boil and to reduce it down, okay? Because we're going to be frying it later on. So now I've added the turkey to draw the stock to the pot. And you're going to add, you know, don't add any water right now. You're going to let it cook down in its own juices. And as soon as it draws out all of its own natural juices, then that's when you're going to introduce a little bit of water, not too much. And the stew is reducing down very, very nicely. Anyway, back to the turkey neck. So you're going to let it reduce down in its own natural juices or cooked down in its own natural juices and then we're going to add some water to it not too much because we're going to use this stock to finish up the meat okay so just make sure it's it's gonna you're gonna cook it down because you're gonna fry it later and then i chopped up an additional um onion and added a little bit of thyme and i fried it up in about a tablespoon or two of um, olive oil the olive oil that you can cook with and then i added the bell pepper paste that i reduced down by boiling and now we're gonna fry that up now guys i must tell you that this recipe requires a frying method and it usually has a little extra bit of oil but we wanted the healthier version of it so i didn't add a lot of oil and this is one of the reasons why i didn't add a lot of oil because we decided to fry the turkey when it was done cooking to fry it um so we didn't bake it this time so we fried it up so that's one of the reasons also that i did not want to put too much oil to fry up the bell pepper paste because you have to think about eating healthier these days okay so when i was done frying this meat i'm telling you you have to be careful because it pops a lot guys so be very very careful when you're frying the meat or frying the sauce and then you're gonna introduce the stock from the turkey meaning the turkey boiled down in that little bit of water and it's all natural juices you're going to add it back to the bell pepper um, sauce and then let that boil up a little bit taste for salt it needed a little bit more seasoning guys so i added some more maggie 
and also wait for what I added about a quarter teaspoon of salt and also I added the meat at this time the fried turkey mix all right and um, added some paprika there some Mexican style paprika which will help to make the color pop and I added some um, Worcestershire sauce and some um, another type of vinegar I'll post it on the screen because I'm not remembering right now and I tasted that up and you know what off camera I added about um, a tablespoon of brown sugar to give it that extra kick that extra oomph and then I just mixed up everything tasted it again and guess what I added a little bit more Maggi yes you just have to taste as you go along like I said I don't want to salt it because if you have the boil stock down and the meat is already seasoned and with you know salt in it or the salt based seasoning then you have to make sure that you don't salt that pot so guys we're coming to a close and I'm just gonna tell you that look this was a fabulous oh stew man yes the Africans got it going it was really 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 delicious so at this point in time I'm gonna tell you guys mega love and leave now all right don't forget to share like and subscribe and leave me a lovely comment all right see you later